Hey guys, it's Nanette from Heart Baby Home. So today we have a very unique heart, heart number 43. So the first thing I notice is actually the truncus arteriosus, the TA. So when the heart is forming, the aorta and the pulmonary artery start out together and then they split off into those two different ones. Uh, but in truncus arteriosus, they never fully split off. And there are several different types. And this is the kind where the pulmonary artery splits off from the aorta before it branches to go to the right and left lungs. Okay, so if you look at the normal heart, the pulmonary artery is on top of the aorta. And normally in a truncus arteriosus, it would just come off kind of on the top right there. They'd kind of fuse together right there and have a common valve. But in our truncus arteriosus, the pulmonary artery is behind and to the patient's right side. And so that shows the transposition of the great arteries, that if those arteries weren't connected, then the pulmonary artery would have ended up switched with the aorta. And then you can also see there's pulmonary stenosis that pulmonary artery um, at where it connects to the trunk um, is very small so we covered the PS and the TGA. There's also double outlet right ventricle um, and that's just again if that trunk had split both of those would have ended up on the right side on the patient's right side we have a hypoplastic right ventricle. You can see it's just really small. Um, a very large VSD, um, ventricular septal defect. That's the hole in the septal wall that's supposed to come between the ventricles. Uh, now we, we have a very large ventricle, a single ventricle or a univentricle heart. And that's partly because that right ventricle is just so small and that VSD is so big that it just is only using one ventricle to pump. There's also subpulmonary stenosis right under that TA valve where extra tissue has gone and kind of blocked that valve so that's making it harder for blood to get out into the trunk. And then we have an ASD which is an atrial septal defect and that's a hole in the wall between the right and left atrium that allows blood to mix where it shouldn't. And then there's also a PDA connecting the pulmonary artery and the aorta. And that's a pathway that's normally the open when you're a fetus, but after the baby is born, within two to 10 days, usually that pathway will close. And it looks like that is it for heart number 43. If you appreciate this video, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or you would like me to draw a new heart for you, you can find me at heartbabyhome.com slash contact. I'm also on Pinterest, Facebook, and Twitter. Thank you.